Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Rad with Harold and this is going to be Sagittarius Sun, Sagittarius Moon and Sagittarius Rising weekly tarot reading and the Normand one for uh, September 17 to September 23rd 2018 and while I'm shuffling the cards <clears throat> I, want to, uh, I want you to acknowledge that this is a, a general reading for the star sign and um, if you want a personal reading all that you need to know is my website and the link you can find down below in the description of this video and there you're going to find a full list of my services as well as the pricings for them and as uh, this is the end of the summer there is a, a summer end sale going on uh, which adds 10 minutes on the top of the 30 minute uh, service so it makes it in total of 40 minutes so that being said going to the tarot spread first here let me cut the cards and uh, tarot spread is from a four cards. The first card will uh, show us the topic for your Sagittarius for the week. Then we do have the second card, which regards to the core of the situation. The third card uh, resembles the uh, challenges that you need to overcome. And the fourth card is about the guidance that tarot has to offer to you. So let's see what you... Um, have to deal with in this week Sagittarius we do have the hangman so the hangman is a rather I can't say unpleasant card but it is more like a, a card of anointment because the hangman is associated with blockages now as you can see here the man is hanging from a tree especially when you um, when you resemble on the um, Body language, this is a posture of uh, being helpless and uh, this is because the man is waiting for something most, li most likely to happen but what the man is doing is hanging upside down so uh, that means that the man is trying to obtain different perspective upon the world. And this is what uh, this week is going to be all about for you guys. You are going to experience delays, problems predicaments, um, in some extreme cases, uh, futile efforts. It is because the perspective you do have upon either your career or upon either your relationship, it's wrong. I mean, I'm no phenomenon, you know, I'm not psychic, I just interpret our cards. And as a topic, this is what the hangman says, that if you want to make a progress, you have to obtain different perspective upon the things you're working right now. And in most of the cases, that perspective is that it simply is not the time right now, all right? And the only thing that you have to do here is wait and do exactly nothing. Because the, the positive property of the hangman is that the problems rich, literally are going to solve themselves on their own accord. So the sky has now darkened, is going to be set on light again. And only thing that you need to do so that can happen is just to wait. And the core of the situation for that is the two of uh, pentacles. So for what it seems... Um... <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Two of Pentacles in the Hangman. So this is how the predicaments are going to come. Uh, just on the contrary of what I said about the Hangman, that you have to wait. This week is not going to be about you slacking. Waiting is a different property from a, sw or from a slacking. It does look like that you are going to uh, be involved into many activities for the duration of the week. This is the Two of Pentacles, to a point where you will want just a time to catch up your breath. And that will be something incapable that you can do if you are not a little bit smart, you know, of how you use, how you make a use of your time here for the duration of the week. This is the... Uh, the delay here, the delay of having rest. So you, uh, Sagittarius, will have to juggle in between your career and in between your relationship with equal measures. And therefore, that will deprive you from uh, the ability for you to make a certain plan from uh, 
um, a certain plan you know for what you have to do next but rather you should go with the moment you should go and do things day by day and uh, that will be due to the fact that there will be a lot of minor changes happening into your um, into your routine here and there into your relationship you know into your um, <clears throat> undertakings as well and into your career either and the incapability to control those things it's the manifestation of the hangman you know that you will feel yourself helpless to alter the outcome of the situation but that doesn't mean you know that you will be in, in disadvantageable position just on the contrary you know for you to obtain the ability to uh, alter the outcome of your situation for now is just to wait you know just wait until the right moment comes and the challenges that you have to overcome here this is going to be the two of swords and the waiting is what we're talking about so the two of swords just like with scorpio reading here it does point that you uh, don't have the grasp upon the full situation and that's why you need to obtain different perspective for the duration of the week so you just have to observe and do what you are supposed to as the two of pentacles points you know examine every opportunity and possibility that comes in your way a juggle in between your career and your relationship giving no favor to neither but being um, balanced in between both and uh, the two of swords points that you have to postpone and delay as much as possible any definitive action and in irrevocable decision that you uh, are planning to take and as i said uh, previously with the two of pentacles here is that you cannot go with planned things because many changes are yet to happen small changes which ultimately uh, combined cumulatively are going to change the wholeness of the situation the entirety of the situation and then when the entirety of the situation either career-wise relationship-wise or even both is already shaped then the hangman stops taking place you do have your different perspective here and then you make a decision should you stay into that relationship or live you know should you go and involve yourself with that person or not should you continue on working upon the project that your career or should you start searching for another job what i'm trying to say here is that this week is highly unfavorable for you to making irrevocable decision and irreversible actions and the last card points to the guidance which is the king of swords <clears throat> and the king of so swords stands for a properties of a person of you sagittarius is being very analytical be, being prone to examine the both sides of the coin uh, being someone who um, relies on its um, communicative um, skills of a, a very de uh, highly developed skills of a com communications this card also urges you to um, be very conservative when it comes to sharing truth truths with others because uh, some people does not need to know the uh, the entire truth but they need to know a certain portions of it so you have to be also very very discreet especially when it regards to your plans for the um long-term future of course you can have a plans for your long-term future you just can't have a plans for the events that takes place in this week because they will be because this week activities are going to be highly unstable and they may surprise you in every moment that's why you have to be ready for the worst that doesn't mean that the worst is going to happen it's just you have to be very analytical and the uh, king of swords also points that emotions are the worst thing you can rely on acting from a from a emotional standpoint taking a decisions from an emotional standpoint is going to basically deprive you from reaching a certain stability regarding the undertaking these cards are talking about for your life because they would because they're talking about for a different undertaking in every single um in every single personal situation for my situation if i were a sagittarius they were they would have spoke for one thing for you uh whomever is watching 
uh, they will speak for a, a different undertaking in different activity it is up to you to make a um, sense of them I can only as general reading um, explain you the meanings and the synergy in between the cards so um, now going to the Lenormand card spread which is going to show us a event happening that you Sagittarius needs to either uh, look forward to or try to avoid. Let me cut them. Now the first card that will be the bucket followed by the mountains. Now the mountain, the bucket stays for surprise or it stays for small gift and um, the mountain stay, stands for delays, it stands for troubles and delays is what we talked about here and then we do have the chest which is an ending so surprisingly delays are going to end this particular week that is going to be the event that you are looking for and that will most likely happen at the end of the week so the hangman will stop taking place but until this these delays are dropped off through a surprising event you know you should kind of like incorporate what I said about the reading you know being conservative with, uh, with the truth and trying to postpone as much as possible any kind of irrevocable decisions and irreversible actions but rather you know live for the moment and do not go by a, a specific plan created so that being said uh, this was your weekly tarot and lenormand reading sagittarius for september 17 to september 23rd 2018 i hope you enjoyed it and i hope that you can make sense of it because again this is a, a general reading for the star sign of sagittarius it is not your personal reading for personal readings uh, you can go to my website which link you can find down below in the description of this video and there you will find a full list of my services as well as their pricings so that being said rat signing out now see you next time bye